guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I have lots of fun content coming your way for the holiday season especially and I'm really excited to share it with you guys so I hope that if you're not subscribed you will consider subscribing so today I thought that I would share with you everything that is on my Amazon wish list especially now that we're coming into the holiday gift giving season I think no better way to get gift ideas than to see someone's Christmas list so although I cannot hold up these items and show them to you I will screenshot the items that I'm scrolling through on my Amazon wish list and you will be able to see them and I'll tell you exactly everything that's been on my Amazon wish list for a long time now so the way that my family likes to shop is we all keep wish lists on Amazon throughout the entire year. There are some things on my list that have been sitting there for a couple of years now. And whenever there's something that I want, I often will put it on my wish list in hopes that someday I will receive it as a gift rather than spending the money on it. So I just think it's a great way, number one, to keep yourself from buying frivolous things. And it's also a great way to share with family and friends maybe some of the things that you really would like to receive as a gift because especially my husband, he needs a little bit of guidance. He gives really great and thoughtful gifts, but he doesn't always particularly know my sense of style or certain sizes that I would wear in certain types of clothing and books that I want. And there's just so many things that could be incredibly helpful to someone who is buying for you. And it avoids spending money on things that you don't want or need anyway. So. I love the Amazon wish list and I'm going to tell you everything that is on mine this year. Since there are quite a few books, I will leave that towards the end of the video for those of you that have no interest in books and I'll do a timestamp below too to let you know exactly at what point in the video you can see all of the books that are on my wish list. Everything else is going to be fashion, accessories, a lot of household items, things for the kitchen that I want and stuff like that. All right, so let's get started. The first thing on my Amazon wish list is an off the shoulder long sleeve tee. I actually was getting my hair done this morning and my hairdresser had on this top and I thought it was so cute. I asked her where she got it. She said that she's been buying all of her clothing lately from Amazon and that's where she got it from. She washed it and dried it multiple times and it's holding up well. So I'm like, that is going on my wish list right now. <laughs> so it did. And then the next item is a vintage cookbook stand. It's a cast iron decorative metal cookbook stand. And this is something I've never had. I've used random easels and things that I had laying around the house to hold open my cookbooks, especially when I'm cooking around the holidays and there's multiple cookbooks and I'm trying to use them all it really is so nice to have something to hold your cookbook open and my easels often tip over and don't work well enough so I wanted something that is specifically made for holding open cookbooks and I really like this one because it is vintage and it's old-fashioned looking so it will fit perfectly in my home and it comes in lots of different colors too which is nice and the vintage cookbook stand is only $34.99 so I am a an affordable person to shop for <laughs> there's nothing really crazy on this list there's a couple of high ticket items but nothing insanely priced the next item is a kitchen item and I'm not categorizing these because I'm literally going through my list from top to bottom but this is a chef and veggie chop hand powered food chopper and it's only $16.99 and I need a food chopper especially lately I've been making so many crock pot meals and I'm always chopping onions and carrots and celery and just all of the things and a long time ago I used to have a pampered chef one and it didn't hold up for very long and it didn't work very well I've heard great things about this Chris Christopher Allen talked about this multiple times on his channel and he uses it all of the time and it's dishwasher safe which I love so that went right in my cart something else that I really want is a new case for my iPad mini now I absolutely love this case and I would get another one if I could my husband actually broke it so the back compartment here is re-glued on so that I can't like stand it anymore if you guys know what I mean if you have an iPad how like you can bump it out to like stand it up well it doesn't do that anymore 
because it was broken. So I picked a new one and this one's super cute because it has owls on it and I just think owls are adorable. And there's lots of different patterns to choose from. There were lots of floral prints and marble prints and things like that, but $12.59. I could not believe how inexpensive <laughs> these cases were. So I totally need one because also lately in the kitchen, I like to watch YouTube videos or look up recipes and I need for my iPad to stand up and it's hard when it's laying flat. So that is definitely something I could use this Christmas. Okay, the next item is actually something that I have in my Amazon shop. So if you guys ever check out my Amazon storefront, it's always linked below if you ever wanna check it out. But it's just kind of different categories of some of my favorite things, things that I use in my house every day, things that I have had in the past, things that I have gifted to people, and this is on that list. It is the Life Around Two Angels Bath Bombs Kit. This is a set of 12. These bath bombs are, first of all, beautifully packaged. I have gifted these a couple of times, and they last a really long time. My daughter Emily has had it for two or three years now, and they still have their scent and they still work really well. I know if you go to like Lush, they have an expiration on their products and they don't last for very long. I don't know if there is an expiration on this, but they still work and they're beautiful and I really want some for myself. <laughs> so these are currently $26.80 and you get 12, which is a really good deal. And they're so beautiful. You guys can look at the picture that I'm showing you right now and you can see how pretty this kit is. And it definitely makes for a really nice gift for a woman, especially me. So <laughs> that's why it's on my list. And kind of going with the bath theme, I also have on my list a Gorilla Grip Original Spa Bath Pillow. And I love taking baths, but when I do lay back and read, which is typically what I do in the tub, it hurts my neck. We have an old clawfoot tub in my home. It's actually not old, it's a replica because I wanted my bathroom to look very Victorian because we live in a Victorian house. But it really hurts when you lean back on that hard ceramic tub. So I really would like to have a pillow for it. And still going along with the whole bath thing, a bath caddy tray for the bathtub. This is phenomenal because I'm gonna zoom in on the picture here actually on my phone so I can like, see all of the great things it does. It can hold a bottle of wine, not a bottle of, <laughs> I'm not gonna drink a whole bottle of wine in the tub. It's possible, but not likely. It can fit a glass of wine. <laughs> it can fit my iPad, hopefully in my new case so it could stand up, because I see it is standing up in this picture. A snack, I don't typically eat in the tub, but I could totally see having some snacks in the tub with my wine. Lotions, candles, it even has this other little tray where you can put like a bar of soap. It looks like it even has like a little nail brush, which is cool. So you can fit so many things on this tray. And again, usually when I do take a bath, I like to read and I'm always getting my the pages of my book wet, which really freaks me out. So it's nice to have a place maybe to just set your book where you're not really getting it too, too wet either. So love the idea of this, $39.99. I think it's a great gift and I love that it's made out of bamboo and it's just really pretty. All right, next on my list, I hope this thing works. I have seen so many YouTubers talk about this. It is the jade roller for your face. So it's like those little roller things and you're supposed to like roll it underneath your eyes to get rid of that puffiness. I look like a monster in the morning when I wake up. Like my eyes are so puffy and I think they even are now because it's allergy season. So my eyes have just been really puffy in general and I'm hoping that this works. So I think what you do is like when you get up in the morning before you do your makeup and stuff, you just roll it underneath your eyes here and it's supposed to get rid of the puffiness. So fingers crossed it works and that I get it. It's only $13.95, so hopefully somebody will pick that up for me. The next item on my list is a case for my laptop. I have a MacBook Pro 13. It's a few years old now. I think I got it in 2013 or 2014 and I really need something to cover it because it is getting scratched up. I had one way back in the day and it cracked. So they're only $16.99, which is pretty inexpensive. And the one that I picked has these really pretty flowers on it and it has a black base. So the background on some of them was white and I thought they were so pretty, but I'm just thinking with constantly traveling with it and carrying it around, white is not practical. So 
I went with the black with the roses on it and I just think it's really pretty and I really would like one for Christmas. Something else that I really could use is a new strap for my Apple Watch. I've been wearing this pink one, which I love with these little, I don't know what they're called, but these little things that you stick in that are Disney themed. They're so cute. But I have this pink, it's like a rubber material, and then I also have a pink leather one, but they're both exactly the same color, and I would like to change up the color and have something maybe a little more neutral, so I think a black strap would be perfect. It's only $14.99 and it got really great reviews, so that is on my list. Okay, this item is a little bit more pricey at $69.99, but it's a Hamilton Beach digital bread maker. <laughs> when this whole pandemic started, one of the things I was most fearful of not being able to get, it wasn't toilet paper or paper towels or any of those things, it was the inability to get a loaf of bread. And at the beginning, most of our grocery stores did not have bread. Like it was the first thing that sold out. So I went to our local farm and I got bread from there, but it wasn't the same. It was some kind of weird, I don't even know type of bread. And all I kept thinking was, wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to make my own bread? And when I was little, my mom had a bread machine. So every once in a while she would put the bread in in the morning and you would just smell it baking and it smelled amazing. And I loved eating it nice and warm with some butter. So I'm like, if I can make my own bread, <laughs> Especially now when I have to worry about not being able to get bread on some days, it would be great to have a bread machine. Something else that I really could use is a new pop socket for my phone. This is a new case that I got on clearance at Vera Bradley and I don't have a pop socket for it. And to me, that's very important because I'm always dropping my phone. So I kind of need something to slip between my fingers so I can hold on to it better. Also, they're really nice to have because you can prop your phone up and watch videos and things. I love this one. It's Belle is my favorite princess. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Disney fanatic. I'm a travel agent who specializes in Disney vacation. So I'm all about Disney. If someone gifts me anything that is Disney related, I'm gonna love it, like no matter what. And this says, my weekend is booked with Belle reading a book. I have this shirt, I love it so much, and I hope that I get the pop socket <laughs> to use on my phone, because I just think it's so cute. Now this is something that I can use for my YouTube channel. It's an LED ring light, but what I like about this is it's a ring light that I can just put on my desktop. So I have a tall one that I use when I'm filming. Usually I set up my larger camera over on the side of the room and I set up my ring lamp, but currently I'm using my Canon G7X and I'm just putting it on my desk. And I've been doing that a lot lately because I feel like as I'm getting busier, Taking the time to film is getting harder to do. And when I can just pull out this smaller camera and film at any given time without having a whole process to go through, it's really convenient and I can get so much more videos out to you guys this way. But even though the window is directly in front of me, depending on where the sun is at, it can just be my worst enemy. So I would love to have a ring light that I can just put right behind my camera. But also if you're doing maybe not necessarily just live streaming, which I do on my Patreon channel every month. Um, a lot of people now are doing like Zoom calls. So if you have ever done a Zoom call, you know how like horrible and scary you can look <laughs> if the lighting is bad. It's terrifying. And I've like, not to be judgy, but I've seen people that I know in real life that like they're beautiful people. <laughs> but they look completely different and distorted on these Zoom calls just because the lighting is so bad. So I think for that reason alone, a ring light for your desktop is really, really great, really an essential thing to have. So I really hope I get one for only $18.99 because <laughs> it's so worth it. Okay, I love the Disney Dooney and Burke, obviously Disney themed bags. And the one that is on my wish list this year is a Haunted Mansion one. And I love the particular style of this bag that I'm showing you guys now because it perfectly fits everything that I need. And the one that I currently have is also a Mickey Mouse themed one. And it's this exact bag just with a different pattern. And it has worked out so well for me over the last couple of years. And I find that it's my go-to purse. It's just the one that I use most often for that reason. 
So I would like to change it up to a Haunted Mansion themed Dooney and Burke bag because the Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride in Disney World. And this one I'm not sure of the price. It says starts $56.99 but I know if you buy it new it's probably a lot more than that. You can buy it used. I don't mind receiving used books or handbags. It does not bother me at all as long as they are in good condition. I don't mind saving money on a $200 handbag to buy it for 60 bucks. Like I am all about that. So that does not bother me. Okay, this is a fun item. It's super inexpensive. Also would make for a perfect stocking stuffer. And it is the Tavolo Easy Flow Mess Free Valve. It is a pancake pen. I saw this on Jennifer Ross's channel, Pretty Neat Living. And when she's making waffles or pancakes, she uses this and basically, instead of scooping it out and making a mess, which I always do, you can put the batter in here and you just squeeze it out as much as you want onto the pan. I think it's a game changer. I love it and I had to put it on my Christmas list because I really think I will get a lot of use out of it. Because I am secretly an eight-year-old child at heart, on my list, I have a Funko Pop Harry Potter Hedwig little posable figure <laughs> because if you see my bookcase over here, I have a Harry Potter themed shelf. And at one point I had a little Hedwig stuffed animal there, which my daughter Madison, now that she's super into Harry Potter, took it. She took it back actually, because I took it from her because she wasn't into Harry Potter at the time, but then she got into Harry Potter and took it back. And now I don't have an owl on my shelf and it makes me really sad. So I really would like to have Hedwig over there. I don't know if I'm gonna go full on into collecting all of the Funko Pops. I'll let Madison do that. And then maybe when she outgrows it, I'll just kind of put them in here and just display them. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but I'll be happy just to have the owl over there with my Harry Potter books. I love Thomas Kincaid. I think he is such an amazing painter and he has done some pretty amazing things with the Disney princesses and the Disney parks and Mickey and Minnie. He just does the most beautiful and creative paintings of Disney. And some of these are adorable. I found these coasters that have Mickey and Minnie and they're traveling and I'm a travel agent. Mickey and Minnie is my thing. So this was perfect for me and it shows Mickey and Minnie in Paris and in Hawaii and where else are they? I think they are in the Swiss Alps in Ireland. They're traveling. They're adorable and painted by Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. And I just think it's beautiful. It's a little pricey for four coasters. $29.99 is the pricing on this, but I use coasters every morning when I'm having my coffee and sometimes in the evening as well if I'm having a drink. At nighttime, I use coasters and this would just totally make me happy every day. <laughs> Currently, the coasters that I have, so true story. I was walking the dogs and it was after garage sale day and people put the things that didn't sell at their curb and I noticed a set of <laughs> coasters and I took them and those are what I'm currently using although I do have some beautiful Victorian coasters from Kate May that I use in my bedroom. Okay so that's the story of the coasters. A couple of more items, clothing items that I would like. It's a woman's long sleeve basic white tunic top, $17.99. I always can use just plain white t-shirts and I really could use a long sleeve one. I think I have like a three quarter sleeve one currently and a short sleeve one, but I need something long sleeve for the winter months and I love shirts also that are v-neck. So that's on my list as well as a basic black cardigan. It looks like this one has pockets, which is always a plus. I love for my cardigans to have pockets because I always have my phone with me. So that just helps out. And in the winter months, I wear cardigans a lot. They just keep me extra warm in my cold house. So I'm hoping to get a cardigan this year. And the cardigan is $19.99, so it's not that bad. I have so many Disney collectibles already, and I don't typically ask for any type of like collectible things, but I saw this on Amazon and could not resist it. And I love all of the Jim Shore stuff anyway. All of his Disney stuff is just so cute. So I saw this one of Belle, again, my favorite princess, and she's reading a book. And I just think it's so beautiful. It's $53, so it is a little bit pricey, 
but I love it. And I like that it's wooden, so it's not going to break. In high school, I collected all of the porcelain Disney collectibles, and many of them are no longer around because they broke so badly. A lot of them are missing limbs, and I display them anyway, and some have been glued multiple times. So I really like the wood, and I just think they're so pretty. I have quite a few around my office. I don't know if you can see over here. I have my Dumbo, and I have a Mickey and Minnie, and I have an Ariel one. So I do have a small collection of them, and they look really cute in my Disney themed office. So I would love to include Belle in that collection since again, my favorite princess. Something else that I really would love to receive is a new comforter set for my bed. I recently received a used quilt from my mom. It's a little bit short for my bed. My bed is a queen size and this quilt is a full size. So I'm barely making it work. And I love the way the quilt looks, but I found this and it's super fancy. And it even says it's a sweet Victorian satin comforter set. And my room is very much Victorian themed. I just think this bedspread is so beautiful and I would love to have it for Christmas. This is the most expensive thing on the list, $220. So that might be a reach for me, but it's on the list. It'll be on the list for years. So whatever, if I get it someday, I get it. If not, not, but I would love to have it. And then I'm gonna do book accessories for the book section as well. Cause I have a couple of like little bookish accessory things. The next thing is Jessica Simpson Comfy Slippers. These slippers look so pretty and they're only $24.86. I have the Ugg slippers. I love them. They keep my feet extra warm, but these are just so pretty. <laughs> I would like to have them too. So I hope I get a pair of those as well as some new pajamas. It is rare that I buy myself pajamas. So I typically only get them around the holidays. And I have another pair of this exact set that I am showing here and I would just like another one in another color. I like it because it's warm enough, but not too warm like heavy flannel sets can be and it has pockets. So $43.99, they're really nice, really comfy and I would love another pair. The next item is a new robe. I really could use a new robe. The last time I purchased a robe was a few years ago. I wear it every single day. It looks super warm and cozy. I love this color. I love the lining of it and I would love to have it. Another sweater, this is a women's pure cotton turtle cow neck ribbed cable knit sweater for $29.99. I love gray, it's such a basic color. It's one of my favorite colors to wear and I just feel like it always goes with my skin tone and it doesn't wash me out and I just, I like gray, it's just a good color. So that's something else. Okay, that's everything for just like regular wish list items. Now I'm gonna talk about books. Let me start off by saying I think books are an amazing Christmas gift because you can always get a book about whatever someone's interests are, always. And my husband sometimes thinks that it's not a big enough of a gift or it's not going to be a big deal to me if I get books for a holiday, but it is a major big deal. And let me tell you, if there's anything that I'm gonna be disappointed about not receiving from my wish list, it's going to be the books because I watch so many booktubers and listen to so many reviews of books that a lot of time and thought and effort has gone into this wish list. And I, these are all books that I really, really want for one reason or another. That being said, I'm not going to share the synopsis of the books because there are at least 25 on here. So I'm just gonna quickly tell you all of the books that are on my wish list. Know that they are all books that I really, really want badly. And the first book on my list is Well Met by Jen DeLuca, followed by One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid, A Book Lover's Guide to New York by Cleo Laton Pierre and Pierre Laton. I'm so excited about this book. I just, I really hope that I get it because I am so anxious to get back to New York City and explore some bookshops. I miss New York so much. I miss Broadway. I cannot even tell you I can cry thinking about Broadway and, and not being able to go to shows anymore. Um, so yeah, once I feel safe traveling back into the city, which is a very quick train ride away from my home, I am gonna be all over the New York City bookstore, so I really hope that I get that book. Next is The Little Mermaid and Other Fairy Tales. 
This is a beautiful hardcover book. I have the Beauty and the Beast book from this collection. I think they also have Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland. I truly would love them all, but I just picked The Little Mermaid for now because if I asked for them all, it just would be excessive. <laughs> the next book is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. The Bookshop by Penelope Fitzgerald and David Nichols. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Fantastic Beasts, Where to Find Them. I need both of those to add to my Harry Potter collection, to be honest, that's the reason that I would like to have them. And they're beautiful leather bound books, so, so pretty. Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. You will see I also enjoy middle grade books, so there are children's books on here as well. Cirque by Madeline Miller, or Circe, I think Circe? I'm not sure how to say that, but it got great reviews and I really would love to read it. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. Mermaid Moon by Susan Kokal. The House of 100 Clocks by Anne Marie Howe. The Puffin in Bloom Collection. This is beautiful. It is some of my all time favorite books and just look at the covers of these books are unbelievable. By the way, if I do, if I do receive any of these for Christmas, <laughs> I'm sure I'll do a follow up video and I'll share with you what I received. And at that point, I might share the synopsis as well. Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I recently read a Riley Sager book for the first time. It was called Home Before Dark and it is one of my favorite books ever. So I really, really want to read more by him. The Tao of Pooh and the Tea of Piglet by Benjamin Hoff. The Disney Monorail, Imagineering a Highway in the Sky by Jeff Curdy and Vanessa Hunt. My friend Jen LaForge recommended this on her like Disney fan gifts, gifts to give to somebody who loves or is missing Disney. And this book looked so beautiful. So it went right on my list. Entwined by Heather Dixon. Reborn Yesterday by Tessa Bailey. Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Schwab. Stiltsville by Susanna Daniel. The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. The Happily Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez. And then I have a couple of accessories that I would like. One is a clip-on book light with a sleepy owl. You guys may have seen my really cute Harry Potter book light that I recently got. Well, Madison took that. I gave it to her. She's a Harry Potter fan. I was happy to let her have it. So now I need a book light. And then this three-tier metal mesh rolling storage cart. It's only $36.69 and it's a great way to keep together all of the books that I want to read in the near future, the books that are on my TBR. I love having three shelves so I can categorize maybe seasonally and it's just something I really would like to include here in my office. Currently I'm using baskets for that purpose but I really think this would even be a nicer option. Okay, I feel like I'm losing my voice but that's everything. All this stuff, all the books, all the things I would love to have someday. I'm not being materialistic. This is a long running list. Some of these things, again, have been on my list for years and many of them will remain there, <laughs> I'm sure. But it's a great way to give people options and ideas when they're clueless. I wish everyone would do this. It would make my shopping experience so much easier for everyone. I'm really happy for my family members who do contribute to an Amazon wish list because it's super helpful. If you're not doing it, you definitely should consider doing so. I will try to leave links below for these items. It's pretty excessive, so I will do the best that I can. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys are all gearing up for a great holiday season. I know the world seems dark right now, but find happiness wherever you can. And you really, really need to focus your energy in that direction because it's so easy to let yourself spiral into a dark place. So I'm trying my hardest <laughs> to stay focused on the happy things. And you know what? Holidays are magical and happy and time with family is so precious right now. So enjoy it. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Bye.